the man who suffocated a little girl and dumped her body in a creek, after luring her into his caravan with a kitten, is now living within walking distance of five schools. Tim Kozich enticed Chloe Hosen into his caravan with a cat and strangled and suffocated her with two shopping bags after she knocked his bowl of cannabis over in Lansvale Caravan Park in Sydney's West. The then 22-year-old confessed to molesting the 5-year-old's dead body, putting her in a duffel bag and dumping her in a creek, and later told psychiatrists that he was motivated by voices telling him to kill. He escaped jail and a conviction after being diagnosed with schizophrenia in 2005, and went into a psych ward, but is now living unsupervised in a townhouse in Carlingford in Sydney's northwest among thousands of families, Seven News reported. Nearby schools include Carlingford West Public, One Schools Global Sydney Campus in Outlands, Carlingford West Kindergarten, The King School, and Cumberland High School. Local parents said they were horrified to learn the child killer lives near their families. It's scary, that's the first thing that came into my mind, one mother said. Another said he has three daughters. We should know who living here, if there is any here we need to know it, he said. The state government told the network it could not comment on Kozovich's history or current circumstances. After avoiding a conviction, the killer spent 15 years at Marisat Hospital's forensic psychiatry ward before he was quietly released into the community in 2019. Hours before her death, Chloe's mother was cleaning her caravan when her daughter came bounding inside. After her mother told her to go outside to play, Chloe ran over to her Kozovich's caravan the next door to play with his cat. Kozovich admitted he strangled Chloe. After she knocked over his bowl of cannabis, Chlo did not die immediately, so Kozovich covered her head in plastic bags and then interfered with her body before she was dumped into a creek. She spilt my pot on the ground, and then I lost the plot, he said. Then I blacked out, and next thing, I was strangling her in my bedroom. The New South Wales Sue Lupreme Court found he was not guilty of murder due to mental illness. Chloe's father Michael Hosen said at the time, change the system for starters. Regardless of whether you are sane, insane, whatever, you do the time. In April 2018, the detective who worked on the case revealed haunting CCTV footage of Kozovich carrying Chloe's body in a sports bag before dumping her by a creek. She was inside the bag, and he walked with her to the location where he dumped her body, Inspector Roger Best said. Her mother Karina Beharel said in 2018 that she thought about her daughter every day since the senseless killing.
Ms. Beharel has developed agoraphobia and could not leave her home, and previously slammed the state's decision to allow Kozovic back on the streets without serving a single day in jail. I felt like justice left the minute that he was allowed to come out, she told Seven News. My heart's been heavy for a long time, but it's just gotten heavier since I knew 